So I've been waiting to make this video for a while, but I've been busy building HungryMind.com, a couple other projects and stuff. But now I finally get around to it. I go to make it and things have changed. This video is supposed to be about how GetX might be a dead package now, but there has been some updates recently. If you go on pub.dev and you take a look at Get, you see that the last time it was published officially is over 10 months ago. Now for a package that is definitely a really long time, especially being the number one like package on the whole pub.dev. So I thought, I thought that's it. I thought that that's all there is to get. But if you go to a pre-release, there was just an update 22 days ago. Before 22 days, it was again like eight, seven months, something like that. It was a very long time. And there's been a ton of issues questioning the future of this package brought up on GitHub. People wanted to open it to new contributors. This person says that they're very nervous about the state of this project and whether they should be migrating because it just hasn't had many updates. Here's another issue just saying, sincerely hope that you can keep updating. So there's just, there's just been a lot of uncertainty about Get and where it's going. I still think there definitely is because nothing, again, has been released for 10 months now, like officially released. There's just pre-releases, but it's not completely dead like I thought. In this video, I kind of want to break down the two opinions about GetX, and at the end of the video, I'm going to do something that I never thought I would do. So I want to try to steel man both cases, that GetX is a good package, and then that GetX is a bad package. So the very first thing is that it removes build context from your application. Now I have a whole blog and video about build context on HungryMind.com, but build context is like a core functionality of Flutter, and it's how Flutter works. So by removing that, you're removing a big component of Flutter. Another big criticism is that it does too much. And when you're doing so many things, unless you have a whole big team behind it, it's harder to do all of it right. The last one, which is kind of for me, one of the biggest things is that there's not much documentation. It's really hard to pick up. It's easy at the basics, which do have some documentation, but then you're trying to go further and go deeper into the package and run into some issues. It's really hard to figure out what's going on. And now let me steal man the other side of the spectrum. So why is this package fine? Now imagine you're just an average developer. You're learning Flutter just because you want to build some applications for your friends or for yourself just to play around with. GetX makes it really easy for you to get something that's working and be able to show off to your friends and be able to have an app that's, that does something. And as long as it's simple and doesn't get too complicated, you should be fine. There's a reason it's become so popular. And I think to completely dismiss all of that is not fair. Now here's my stance on it. I made a couple of videos back in the day. I was just exploring it, learning about it, and it was really easy to get those things working. But I came to that conclusion that although it is easy, it's not really using Flutter, and I was here to learn Flutter. So I haven't used it since I've made those videos like almost probably two years ago now. Now this is just my opinion. As long as you know exactly what you're getting into, you know what kind of products you're using, feel free to use whatever you like that's out there. Now a key takeaway that I was gonna have from this video is that it has been updated in a very long time. So who knows if it ever will be updated. I honestly don't even know if it works with the newest Flutter version since it's been so long when the actual release came out. You're free to use it, but just, just keep that in the back of your mind. Like I said, there has been some things released recently, so potentially maybe it'll be supported properly again. Now this last part is something that I never thought I would do. But if you go to the Flutter documentation, one of my coolest moments was actually being mentioned in the documentation. So if you go to Datum Backend, State Management, Options, and you scroll all the way to GetX, you'll see my video, Complete GetX State Management. This video was made two years ago, July 14, 2020. So it's been a while. Flutter's changed a lot. Video has gotten pretty outdated. And the thing is, if you go to my channel, you search by popular videos, you'll see that GetX is my second most popular video that I've ever made. If I go to the analytics of this video, you'll see the top site is flutter.dev and pub.dev. But like I said, this video has been outdated for a while. So I think it's time for me to remove myself from the Flutter documentation. I thought I'd use this opportunity to show you how you can contribute to open source. You go to the repository. This one is flutter.website. I want to fork this project. I'll name it Flutter Website. I'll create a fork. You wait a little bit. Then for me, I like using GitHub Desktop. So this takes the repository from GitHub, brings it on locally so that I can actually work on it on my computer. So then you can right click, open in VS Code. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Run pub.get. I don't really need to. I'm going to go to source, development, data and backend, state management, options. Then I'm going to find get X. I'm going to remove this line. Make sure to save it. Go back to GitHub Desktop. You see my changes here. For doc, I'm gonna say, remove my outdated video. So this is going to commit to my own GitHub branch. So when I click commit to main, I'm gonna push it to that. 
and then you're going to see a pop up here to set up a pull request. So I think I missed a click somewhere in there where you could say you want to contribute to the main project. Now this one didn't do that. That's okay. We can go to GitHub. We can find that repository called Flutter website, click into it, and this one commit ahead. You can see this drop down that says contribute. I'm going to say open pull request and now you just need to fill out this information and then create the pull request you know have an official pull request for whatever open source project you want to do so this is this is the pull request in general i just said like i made this video very long ago i haven't kept up with it much i don't think it's a good resource anymore for people that are looking to get started with GetX. and in general it hasn't been updated in such a long time i don't want to lead people into a dead end here i'm making the create pull request and I will probably eventually be removed from the Flutter documentation. Now, like I said, I haven't been following along with this project. You might know more about GetX than I do. So as long as you know what you're getting into, who am I to tell you what to do? And who knows, maybe I'll be proven wrong in the future.